we are just getting acted up. Hopefully I will be live in just one moment. It's saying it's working. So let's hope that it is working, folks. If you're here, let me know you're here. Pop a wee comment up. Share, like, love hearts. Am I live yet? I'm not seeing it yet. Oh, we'll refresh and hopefully say live right now. Whoa, whoa! Hello, people! Right, let's just wait on a bit of an audience to start building up. Um, wait for you all to start piling in. How are we all today? How's the weather where you are? Whereabouts are you? Let me know. Um, let's see, people coming in now. Hello Claire, hello Michaela, hello Alison. Pleasure to have you here. Welcome. Thought we'd pop on and do a little afternoon live today. Um, the reason for that being is I'm teaching tonight. I am I'm teaching tonight. I teach every Tuesday. So I thought, come on a little bit early and I'll do it now. Oh, Dundee, just along the road from me, Claire. Just along the road. So we are excited, possibility of snow. I think we're going to miss it at this end, though. I think it's more happening at the west. So I think we will miss it all. Uh, you never know, we might get some sleep. It's better than nothing. Um, I think I'd rather have the snow or just normal rain, to be honest. But hey-ho. Um, well, fingers crossed, we might get snow. We can go out and build some snowmen. How cool would that be? <laughs> Everybody's going, no, John, we don't want snow. Um, yes, we do. We want snow. We want to build snowmen. So, if you're here and I can see you are starting to come in now, make sure you're sharing. Okay, because the golden rule is the more you share, the more I stay around. Okay, this afternoon, so this live right now will be a bit longer than my normal live sessions because I don't know if I'm going to be able to catch you later on tonight um, because my teaching doesn't finish until about 10 o'clock um, so I don't want to say I'll be here and I maybe won't so get yourselves along and push yourselves in let's get some messages going look at me making a right pig's pog of these cards shuffling them gee whiz bath my dogs the other day yesterday was it gee whiz I tell you what I thought they were meant to start keeping their hair when the winter came along. Mines are lost in it all. They're like a couple of wee bald dogs now. Um, absolutely crazy. I've got more hair in my house than what's on their bodies. Mad! Ugh, let them throw another one away. So folks, get your share and we're just going to give it another couple of minutes. So start share, share, sharing. Um, and we will see where we're going to be going, who we're going to be picking. You know, I have noticed recently the shares have been lacking a wee bit. It's no good. Naughty, naughty. Well done to those that keep the shares going. But naughty, naughty to those that don't. Um, also, your wee love hearts and your thumbs, it's nice to keep them scrolling along the screen. So keep them coming as well. Um, Add lets me know you're there. Keeps your interaction going. Builds up the energy. That's what we need. We need loads and loads and loads of energy um, for for doing these readings. So let's give a few shout outs while we're just waiting on everybody to start piling in so we can get the readings on the go. Um, so we've said hello to Alison, Michaela, Claire, um, hello Michelle, hello Helen, hello Pamela, Audrey, hello Irene, hello G, uh, who else? Karen, Neil, Welcome along, folks. Welcome in. Make sure you're sharing. We're about to get started. We're going to do some readings, um, some nice live readings. I'm thinking I'm starting off a wee bit different today. I'm going to pick up these other cards. Um, I'm thinking of starting a bit different. Okay. John, you're worse than a woman talking. I bloody know. I love talking, Neil. <laughs> it's because my wife doesn't chat that much. She just grunts. <laughs> I can make comments about that, but I'm not going to, you know. Um, I'm only joking. I'm not saying she's a pig. She just grunts every now and then. I think, gee whiz, talk up, love. Um, but yes, I'm going to be doing readings. And I'm going to actually, I think we should start on 12-month emotion, emotional readings. What do you think? Fancy that for a wee change, folks? We will go into spirit messages um, and looking at your questions. But I think we should start on some wee 12-month um 
spreads. If you fancy that, pop up saying, yes please, I'd love a 12 month spread. Um, just like Audrey Dunn did. So Audrey Dunn, you're the first one to pop it in there, so you'll be the first one to have a message. Okay, so I'll quickly just explain what the 12 months are, because you're probably all sitting going, what the feck is a 12 month spread, John? Yes, I never swore, I only said feck. Um, 12 month emotional spread is where we just pull a card out for each day of the month, okay, and It'll tell me what sort of mood you're going to be in that month, anything that you need to look out for, or anything that you need to start planning in that month. Okay, so we will do the 12 months to start with, and the first person we're going to do is for Audrey. Um, I've forgotten your second name already. Let me see if I could find it. Audrey Dunn. You will be the first person who will get the 12 months spread. Okay, so we'll start on these, then we'll go on to the mediumship. Then we'll go on to your questions. Then we'll just have a right old good old party. A party on Facebook. Invite, invite, share, 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 folks. Audrey, let's get started on January for you. Are you ready? I hope so. I'm going to have a drink first. Okay, Audrey, straight away, first card. January's telling me things are going to be very, very good in your life, okay? There's massive changes that are going to be happening. And I feel come the January time, you've got that settled feeling. You've got this strange because it's January. We should all be running about mad thinking about where the money's going to come from. But I feel this nice calmness that comes over you. There's nothing going to be jumping in that I need to worry about here. There is a time near the end of the January time where you start thinking, okay? This is where plans start to come to the front of your mind here. And that's all it is at that moment moment in time. It's just your mind going into overdrive and thinking, all right, what am I wanting to do this year? What am I wanting to achieve this year? February, however, when February comes in there, we've got the massive change coming in. Okay, the tower card. So this is changes that are happening quite instantly, quite quickly. Watch for this being where you feel, dearie me, everything's crumbling at my side here. No, it's not. These changes that are happening are changes for the good. So go with them and enjoy them as they're coming in because the tower's all about big changes coming in. Yes, it's not quite what you're wanting, but once they've happened, you're like, okay, I like this. I've looked at this in the wrong way here. So February, changes coming in. Uh, pushing into March, you start to settle back down. I feel you're adjusting into these uh, changes quite well, okay? You've got that. Right, what's next? What can I do next? How can I build on these? I'm wanting a wee bit more. It's like the first three months of next year, you're in this complete, I'm wanting a big, big turnaround, okay? You're wanting to go from here across to the other side there by your life. Pushing into April time, that carries on, okay? I've still got that lovely, the King of Pentacles coming in there. So lovely, lovely card. This is saying you could sit back and relax a wee bit. You could take your time. All the planning that you've been doing in the first three months, paying off, coming in brilliantly. April's now saying, continue it. Sit back though and enjoy the changes that are coming in. May time, I'm wanting to say there's new contacts stepping forward to you. This is new people coming into your vibration, okay? This is a good time. This is a good time also for you to be sticking things forward and wanting to say, right, this is what I'm wanting to do. It's also a talk of time for booking a holiday. So I feel there'll be talks of holidays round about that time as well. June is it comes in here, again, we've got a new start that's happening here. Now it's the Ace of Cups. So this is normally relationship, okay? So if you're not in a relationship, this is saying relationship coming forward. If you are in a relationship, this is saying things are about to get nice and spicy for you in a good way, okay? It's a nice card. Moving into the July time, July brings forward. This is where I feel there's things where you're going away, okay? And I'm it's like I'm taking you from where you are to now, sticking you somewhere else. It's like you're going here for three days, you're going there for four days, you're going up here for a week, but you're really getting around, moving around a lot. Also, a lot of celebrations coming in round about that time, but I want you to watch for yourself, okay? I feel you forget about yourself round about that July time. Pushing into August, it carries on there, okay? You've got your mind focused on everybody else all around you, okay? And you're kind of neglecting yourself a wee bit. So just remember August to start thinking of yourself a wee bit there. Coming into September time, we start to get the, the enjoyment back into your life again. Things are starting to settle down. I'm feeling, you know, it's the Seven of Pentacles here, so that also tells me financially there's some nice big changes. It's always for the better as well, but it will worry you a little bit. Pushing into October time, that 
scrap that September month because things as we move into October are back on the up. Things are looking good for you again. Again, I feel there's celebrations in around this time. There's also something um, in regards to a new, do you know, it's either like a hobby or something that could bring a bit of extra money coming into you. But watch for that in October. Ah, beautiful. Moving into November, uh, you couldn't be happier. The Ten of Pentacles, absolutely lovely card. You couldn't be happier. This is everything you've wanted to achieve this year. You've completed it by the November time, okay? You're on top, you're moving in there. December time, you're just streaming through, okay? The stress of Christmas is, all that sort of thing, it's not there. You are so calm come December time, and it's because of the big, big changes that happened right throughout that year for you. Thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed that. Look out for all that January to December next year. Right. Let's have another wee look. Let's see who else we're going to go. Hello, everybody that's just come in. Sarah Edwards, just being nosy. Be nosy. Nosy away. We don't mind. Um, so we're doing 12 month spreads at the moment, folks. If you fancy a 12 month spread, it's looking at January to December of next year. Pinpoints any how you're going to feel, how your emotions are going to feel, what's going to be happening if you need to watch out for anything. So if you're wanting one, just pop up 12 month, please. Keep your shares going. Sharing is caring. Ah. Right, let's see. Okay, let's get these cards shuffled. Hello everybody that's just joined. Welcome. Mwah. Hello. It's nice to see you all. It's nice to see you, to see you nice. Don't know why I felt I needed to say that, but I just felt like I did. Okay. Uh, Karen Camwell. Karen, and a wee kiss on the end. Mwah. Back at you. Uh, a 12 month, let's have a wee look for you, let's do a 12 month and see what's happening. Remember, this is for next year, be no point of doing it this year. <laughs> just realised that'd be a bit stupid. Eh? Um, this is for next year, points out your emotions and how you're going to feel throughout the entire year. Okay, Karen, January time, January time there's a lot of discussion going to be around you, okay? I feel there's a lot of communication needing to go back and forward between yourself and other people here. This is a coming together. This is things getting sorted. This is a plan being put in motion here, okay? I feel as well someone else coming in to sort of help with guidance and things that's needed at this moment in time. So it is all about planning, okay? January is a real big planning time for you. Pushing into February, oh dearie me, lock your cell in your house, don't you go anywhere. The seven of wands has popped out, okay? This is saying, no matter or what's going on, you're not going to agree with anybody, okay? Uh, somebody could tell you it's really sunny outside and you would argue with them that it's that it's not sunny, okay? You're just going to be in one of those moods and it's feel it's because January's kind of got your mind just in overdrive. There's been so much happening, so many plans being put in motion that when February comes, you're like, oh my God, please people just stay away. So just watch for this. You can get out of it by keeping yourself focused. So try and not let it build up on top of you. As March time comes in, thank God that starts to ease. Okay, March comes in, I could see you sitting back and going, right, okay, I could see this happening now. People ain't annoying me. I can really get moving. Page of Pentacles, again, it's about a change coming in here, and it's normally a change within the family situation, okay? So there'd be a change happening in and around there where things are being improved for the better. Moving into April time, ka -ching. Ace of Pentacles coming in here. Again, it is all about changes, okay? This is normally financial changes, and it's for the better, okay? So this is you being able to feel a lot more secure, a lot more safe. You're able to plan things a bit better for things that are coming in here. It's also carrying on from that March time, so your mood's still in that upbeat, yay, smile on my face. Uh, moving into the May time, May month's a good celebration month for you, okay? I'm getting that strong feeling from you as well, where the shoulders are head held back, the head's held high, and it's like you're saying, nothing could get you down at this moment in time, okay? You're really driving forward there. Pushing into the June time, the, this is where the decisions and all that, the plans that were happening in January, this is them really coming to together in the June time. This is when only you can make the choice which way you're going to go with it, okay? Now it is a bit of, I'll show you the card, the magician, okay? There's many different ways you can go to resolve things, get things sorted. They all lead to the same end and goal. Some of them will take a little bit longer, some will be a bit shorter, but in all, it leads to the same goal as what you're wanting there. July time as we're moving into it, again, you know, I just... 
exact same as March time, you've got that real happy vibration. You feel things are moving forward. Also, I want to say July time, there would be a trip away because it's the trip away card, okay, Gypsy meaning for it. So you would be disappearing somewhere for a few days here, getting the country air into your lungs and really enjoying yourself, letting your hair down. Uh, moving into the August time, August time you're popping big question marks above yourself. Now the reason you're doing this is because things have been moving really, really fast. Things have been coming in fire and doof, doof, doof from all cylinders at the start of the year there. So up into August, it's like you sit back and go, holy, what the heck has been going on? All right. A nice card, but it also means you're questioning everything. So you're going, will that work? Is this going to happen? Right. I need this to get moving right now, okay? So just remember it's there and take your time with any decisions in the August time. September time comes, it's the end of a situation. This is something finishing, okay? This is something that's been going on for a long, long time and it's now coming to an end. The door's been closed on it and you're able to push forward and it's always for the better. October as it comes in, you're getting some nice bright ideas coming into your mind here. The A salons, okay? This is a light bulb moment. This is you going, you know, what? I'm fed up. I do feel this is something I do or studying, that sort of feeling. It's like you've gone, you know what? All of a sudden, I feel I need to add this into it, okay? And this is the idea that comes around and you're like, I'm going for it, okay? All guns blaze and you start pushing forward with that straight away. Pushing into the Queen of Wands, uh, November, you're juggling everything. You've hit this sort of light bulb moment in October. You're trying to push with that. You've got the end of the situation that's happened in September. You're trying to figure everything out. You're trying to push forward. You're enjoying it, but you're doing far too much, okay? You're trying to do the housework, feed the kids, get to work, study, uh, make your bed. You're doing everything at once, but you're forgetting about yourself. So remember about yourself in the November time. Pushing into December, Lovely happiness cards coming in there, but it is saying don't hide away from anything, okay? So this could be things coming to the front where you need to face it straight on. Don't just be, oh, I'll deal with that tomorrow. This is saying, no, deal with it now because we don't want December being messed up, okay? We want the happiness to come in, so don't let anything fizzle and simmer away there. Get it on full boil and kick in with it. Hope that helps, Karen. Thank you very much. Enjoy next year. Oh, and I need a drink after that. Gee whiz. I could talk for Britain, to be honest. Um, do you not think I'm quite a fast talker, folks? I really need to try and slow down a bit. It's just like... Blah, 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 blah. Should see is when I'm doing mediumship on a platform. Gee whiz, it's even worse. The poor people sitting in the, uh, the audience are like, lol. <laughs> Oh my god, thanks so much. You're very, very welcome. Right, let's get somebody else on the cards. Who are we going to go for now? Uh, 12 months, Jackie McLafferty. McLafferty. Uh, going to come to yourself. Let's do a wee 12 month spread for you, Jackie, and see exactly what's going on. Just getting these cards shuffled. Keep sharing this post, folks. Keep sharing, because I am going to be going into spirit messages very, very soon. Oh, okay. And you never know, it could be somebody coming forward for you, somebody you know on your friends list, or even your family. So make sure you're sharing this, inviting all your friends to come and join in, and we'll have some fun with the spirit world once we've done another couple of these little 12 months. So, Jackie, let's go. Let's have a wee look at January for you. Do you know, January, I want to say, is like every other January for everybody else. You're sitting there going, I'm knackered. Christmas has been done with. I've had enough. I'm having a break. I'm having a seat. I'm making no plans. I'm making no big decisions. I'm sitting on my dairy end and I ain't doing a thing. Okay, and I want to say the card that's come out for you is telling you to do just that. All right, pushing into February time. February is going to be where I want to say to you, right, it's now time to get your back end into gear. Okay, it's time to start picking yourself back up, getting that energy flushing back through you, that pick me up that you're needing. I'm feeling the friends coming forward here as well, and it's like they're bringing that pick me up. I feel their celebration coming up round about that time as well for you. Moving into March time, there is changes coming forward. This would be regarding work situation. Now, if you don't work or can't work, this is a change in sort of like a hobby that would be like work, okay? But it is that sort of working vibration as I'm pulled in. These are nice big changes. Yes, it's going to be difficult to start with. Okay, there's no 
no getting over saying it's going to be an easy run for you. Your adjustment into the new role would be a bit, oh, I don't know if I want this or not. But because of the card that's come out, it's saying, yes, go for it. Okay. Moving into April time, I want to say, well, the card that's come out does say finances are going to be improving. Okay. This is a... Uh, things getting better for you. This is saying that watch what you're spending. No, don't be going mental. Don't be rushing around. Don't be pushing into anything that you, you don't really need at the time. Moving into the May time, the Queen of Pentacles. This is saying sit back and relax a wee bit. Oh, my son just came dancing in the room. <laughs> this is saying in the May time, sit back and relax a wee bit. You've, ha you've done the hard work, you've got into that job, yep, it was a difficult adjusting to it a wee bit, but when May comes in, you're like <whistles> sailing through it, you're really enjoying it, you're at peace, you're at calm. Also, I want to say watch out talks of holidays, because Gypsy meaning for the card is holiday coming in. Ding, ding, ding! Everybody that watches my lives will know what this card means when it comes out. Uh, this is the star card, okay? This is the wish card. So when this comes out, Jackie, you need to make a wish right now. Send it up to the spirit world and they are going to help take care of that for you, okay? This is also saying to me that the June time, wishes start coming true. Things you've been thinking of, desires that you've had, this is them coming to the front now, okay? So June's going to be a really exciting time for you. July time, this is saying... Hold tight, keep your hat on because we're still working, there's still new things coming in here, okay? Don't give up on anything. If there's something that hasn't just come to the front yet, you know, I feel there'll be a situation you're waiting on news coming in, but it's just not coming. July's saying, hold on, it's coming this month, okay? This is also talking of celebrations that come in round about that time as well. Moving into the August time, August time's all about you. This is you feeling you again, okay? It's been a while since you've been able to have a proper smile on your face, have, a, have that get up and go. But when August comes in, you've really got that coming back into you. September time, it rolls on, okay? No changes there. The happiness is in and around you. October time, however, you start to feel where things, it's like a situation comes up. Now, I feel this is in the family and you don't know which side you want to be on, okay? You're being pulled in two different directions. The card that's come out of the chariot is saying, listen to what your own heart's saying, okay? Don't listen to others. Listen to your own heart and push forward with it. Uh, November comes in. That situation has happened in October. It comes to an end, okay? It settles down, the happiness, the sunshine starts to step forward. There'll also be a wee trip away for you in November time as well. You've got two trips coming up next year, you lucky bugger. Um, but November time, a wee get away for you. Pushing into the December time, and oh my god, my best, best card. Pardon me, my best card in the pack, the Ten of Pentacles. That's saying exactly what it said to someone else who got it earlier. I can't remember. Everything you've wanted to achieve that year comes to light. But most importantly, you start to feel you. You are on top of the world, ready to move into the next year. Okay, thank you very much. Take care. Mwah. Love that. All right, need another wee swig of my juice. Right. Okay, I think we'll do one more 12 month. Then we're going to get into the... Spirit messages, because that's what we'd all want. And hey, we're all wanting to hear who's there from the spirit world. So please, folks, start sharing so that we can get your uh, your friends and your family on here as well. I will be doing spirit messages right after this last 12-month card. Okay. And the person jumping out at me for this last 12-month card is going to be... Is going to be who's jumping out at me, Shirley Sotelo. Your name just bounced onto my screen. Oh, bear with me, I'm throwing my cards. Right, so this is the next 12 month one, folks. Then we're going into spirit messages. So get the love sharing. Get your hearts across my screen. Get your thumbs going across the screen. I don't see any at the minute. This is sad. Don't he make Johnny sad? I didn't even like the name Johnny. Why did I just say that? Don't make John sad. Keep your love hearts and your thumbs up going. Ah, that's better. 
That's better. Remember and hit your share button while you're hitting that love heart button as well. Right, Shirley, the January time for you is, oh, do you know January time is uh, going to be a really, really interesting month for you. Okay, this is uh, contacts from your past making contact with you. All right, this is information coming in. People you've known before, you've lost touch with, this is them stepping back forward and making that contact with you. This is a time for sort of forgiving and getting answers, okay? February time as we look into it is a wee bit of the same thing. It carries on. Things are starting to build up for you. I feel you're starting to feel more settled. You're starting to feel more calm. This card that's come in in February also means watch your car. Gypsy meaning for it, okay? So watch for a problem with the car when it comes in. Get it sorted straight away. Don't leave it saying, oh, it's just a blinking light on the dashboard. I'll get it. It'll go and fix itself. No, this card is saying, uh, no, it won't. Get it sorted when it comes in. Okay. Pushing into the... Um, Oh, flumps. What month am I on? March. Sorry, I lost my thing. Uh, the March month there. Do you know what I want to say? Within the family, there's going to be a wee bit of an ups and down coming in. Okay, there's a wee bit of up and down with the family. There's a wee bit of a divide that creeps in there. Feel people have got opinions on things and they want to say it. This card is saying... Just ignore it, close off your ears because you know what you're doing is in the right way. Okay, moving into the April time, things really pick up. I've got this coming in, I've got the coming up, I've got your shoulders back, your head held high, there's a proper smile on your face, you've got this bounce in your step. It's like you're a completely different woman as I'm connecting into the April time. May comes along, you're going away on a wee trip in the May time, but I also feel this tiredness coming uh, just before that. So it's like just before you go away, you're like... <sighs> That was some start to the year. You know, you want to sit back, blow it all out, and just say, ah, oh, okay. Take the rest and enjoy the holiday when it comes in there. Moving into the June time. June's all about changes as I'm coming in here. Now, this is a change, and I feel I'm wanting to look on a work vibration as I'm connecting into this, okay? It's a bit like, hmm, this is the change I'm wanting. Uh, regarding work. I put forward for it, but I didn't quite get the decision I was hoping for, okay? But all's not lost, because it's like they offer something else, okay? So don't get disappointed when you think, oh, I never quite got it, I wanted that, but something else comes in from the same person, but slightly different, okay? Moving into the, the July time, I've got this lovely settled feeling. Your feet are on the ground, your head's held high, you're continuing that, continual moving forward. There's a big spontaneous feeling as well around about July time. I feel you've just got this get up and do things, okay? Everybody's coming in and going, let's go, let's go. And it's really, really full blowing. This continues into August time. You're still just, it's like you've took on this different personality. You don't know what you're, well, you do know what you're doing. You're enjoying it, you're just pushing forward with things. September comes along and um, there's a change is happening for you, okay? These are nice changes. This is a committed change as I'm connecting into it as well, okay? Uh, October time. October's looking lovely. I've got nothing I want to say is going to cause any problems. Your Knight of Cups pushes in in the November time and this is that fantastic relationship. This is things really going into that committed stage. This is things taking the next step forward. This is you feeling at peace but them feeling at peace as well. December time is just glorious smiles as I'm connecting in there. There is nothing I would say is going to be of any big issue. Watch out for a wee bit of sort of tit and tat, things being said, but nothing that would cause any problems whatsoever. Okay, thank you very much. Take care. I love that. Right, spirit messages, folks. Let's have a wee look at the spirit world now, because that's where we're wanting to go. We all want to know who's around us, who's doing what, who's saying what, and what's going on. Okay, so if you're wanting me to have a wee look, if you want me to see if I can get drawn to your name um, and see who my spirit team could bring forward for you, just comment away. Now, be quite blunt, okay? I like people that are just blunt and to the point. So if it's your granny that you want to come forward, just put, hey, John, my granny, blah, 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 whatever you're wanting to say. Um, if it's your dad, your mum, your gran, your child, please just... See it.
blunt and to the point. I can't guarantee who I'm going to bring forward for you, but hopefully my guides will be drawing me into who you're wanting to bring forward, and that's why they're taking me into your name. Okay. Alright, so give you a minute to start filling up the screen there. Uh, make sure you're sharing. If you've just come in, make sure you are sharing this post like crazy. Okay. Um, keep your love hearts and your thumbs scrolling the screen as well because um, it helps lift the vibration in the room. It makes me smile when I see them. And if I'm smiling, it means I can get a better connection through. Okay. Right. Let's get looking. Uh, right, where am I going to? I just seen a name and it just disappeared from my, my screen there. Gee whiz. Right, okay, I'm going to go with Leslie J. Both. Or Booth. Ba, Bo, Boath. I'm useless at pronouncing your names, I admit it all the time. Hey John, my father-in-law please. Right, Leslie, let's have a wee look. Let's see who we can get forward for you. I was drawn right into your name. Um, as I'm pulling into your vibration, I'm aware of a gentleman stepping forward here. Now, as this gentleman steps in, I would be, I want to say he's about 5'9", five, 5'10", five, in height as he comes forward here. A very hard-working gentleman, a very determined gentleman, you know. I feel when he puts his mind to something, he really pushes forward it. He's got that stubborn sort of side that comes in with it as well. He is a very very knowledgeable gentleman as I'm pulling into him, so I feel, you know, he knew quite a lot. He enjoyed sort of absorbing things into his mind and sort of getting his, his head around it. He's um, he's humming. Why are you humming? All right. <laughs> he's just humming to me it's something he would have enjoyed doing, so he's humming away at the back of me here. Um, I feel with this gentleman I want to connect the April month with him, so either his birthday, he's passing, or something very special happened to him, but April has to connect well in some way. I feel as he's coming in that his passing would have been very, very quickly as he's stepping forward because he's snapping his fingers here. He's a bit of a jack of all trades as he's coming in. You know, he didn't have just one particular thing that he dealt with. I feel he had, sort of had his wee hand at everything here. But a very sort of outdoor gentleman also. You know, he's not someone to be sitting in his house with his feet up. I feel he enjoyed being outside, whether it's in his garden, an allotment, anything like that. But he's enjoying being out in that sort of vibration there. I feel he's in and around you at this time, you know, and it's a bit like... You know, it's it's that outdoor feeling he wants to bring forward to yourself there. I know it's not the weather to be going outside, you know, it's pouring a rain now. But, you know, he's wanting you that fresh air to come in. It's like he wants to clear your lungs out at this moment, okay, and be like relax, breathe in, get the country air in, allow your mind to relax so that you can start pushing forward with things. He does bring in a dog with him, okay, now I don't know if it's his dog or if the dog just connects with you in some way, but he's bringing a dog forward here and it would be, I want to say, like a collie-sized dog as it's stepping in here, okay, but well-behaved, you know, if I tell it to sit, it's going to sit. So a really nice, well-behaved dog. When I get the dogs coming in, it's always for strength, so I know you're needing that strength at this moment in time to help push you forward. Okay, thank you very much. Take care. Love and light. Right, I'm going to pour myself a wee drink of juice, folks, while I'm sitting here and see who I'm going to go to next. Christine Graham, your name just absolutely ooshed. I'm not joking. It's like it just scrolled across the screen. I don't know what my guy's playing it, but he's bringing me into yourself. Hi John, can you tell me if my brother, also named John, is okay in the spirit world and he is with my parents? Thank you, Christine. Um, honestly, that was a bit freaky, actually, when I was seeing your name. It was like you came scrolling across, came out the comments box and jumped along my screen. I was like, oh, what the heck's going on here? Um, but straight away as I was connecting into you, you know, as I was getting that, I was aware of a tortoise stepping forward. How bizarre. Okay, so I feel that there would be a tortoise in the spirit world, either you had it or... One of these people that you're mentioning here had it, but I'm very aware of a tortoise coming forward. Now, when I get a tortoise coming in, I know I'm wanting to brush up your shell. I'm wanting to harden you up a wee bit, okay? It's like at the minute you've been letting everybody sort of say what they want to say, and you've just sat and listened. The tortoise comes in to say, let's get that shell brushed up. It's time to get a hard back and a hard face brought on. Now, I am aware of a... Of a 
of a gentleman stepping forward here. And as this gentleman steps forward, I do feel a very sudden passing with this gentleman. He was here one minute and he was in the spirit world the next minute. Okay. As he's pulling forward here, he's got a lovely vibration. You know, I, I feel I could go and sit in his company. People just felt comfortable around him. All right. He is someone that holds on to his emotions, holds on to his feelings. He keeps all that to himself as I'm pulling into him. But, oh, what lovely eyes he's got. And they're quite a strange colour. You know how people normally have brown eyes or blue eyes? I feel this gentleman's got like, it's like they're either brown, but they've got bits of green or something through them or bits of blue. He's got really nice eyes. It's like, I want to pinch them um, as I'm connecting into him. Um, he wants to connect um, a family gentleman, so I know he would have enjoyed family around him. That's where he felt comfortable. He wants to connect five round about his family as well as he's coming in here. Again, I've got about five foot nine, five foot ten, so quite a tall gentleman as he's coming in here. Um, but he is saying that it was quick when he went over, okay? Now, I do feel he has met up with people in the spirit world as well. I do feel he's met up with parents and others over there, okay? He's telling me he's got the bird with him, so I don't know what the heck that means, but I'm sure it means a bird and no a lady. Um, so I do believe there must have been a budgie or somebody had a bird and he has the bird with him when he's, he's over there, okay? When I get the birds, it's always sending them forward to yourself and it's saying it's time to open your wings. It's time to start doing things for you, okay? Take the gentleman's love and I'll say thank you very much. Mwah. Thank you. Uh, Jackie McFlattery, John, you are amazing. You are very, very welcome, Jackie. I'm glad you enjoyed that wee reading that you had there. Right, let's see who we're going to go to next. Who are we going to go to next? Get your comments floating up, folks, and get your shares going, your love hearts and your likes. Scroll, scroll, scroll. I'll just have a wee drink here. I'm just reading that message, Leslie. Um, I saw this because you had shared this, man. That was my dad, our dog, when I was a wee lass. Just as John finished a rob and started singing outside, a sign of a loved one near. Ah, oh, that's lovely, Leslie. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Robins are a good sign of the spirit world coming in as well. Thank you so much. Remember, if you get a wee read in, pop a wee message on my my page as a visitor, okay, because it's nice to see them, and as you all, you all know, I'm trying to get my page verified, and the only way of doing that is if you saw interact with me, sharing and all that, so please do, keep going, but let's get somebody else, Michaela Rose, um, please can you contact my nan, let me have a wee look, let me see your name, bounced and flashed at me, so let's connect in and see what I'm going, do you know as I'm connecting, oh, as I'm connecting into this lady that's stepping forward, she's not got very good hearing that's just coming in because she just like went right into my ears as she stepped forward there. I do feel headaches with this lady as well. I want to say about five foot five, five foot six in height. Quite a quite a wee nature to this lady. You know, you didn't want to get on her bad side as she's coming in here. Not that she had that side very often, but when it was in, gee whiz, just turn her, just go away, you know, you didn't want to get on that bad side of this lady, I do feel though a really nice energy with her, you know, yes she had that side, but the majority of time she had this really, really sort of calming nature, she was able to settle people down very, very easily, you know, if you were sitting in her company, you would just feel relaxed with her, okay, now I do feel that her passing was very, very peaceful when it came to the end there, she's just doing this with me, so she's saying, son, I went like that, okay, and she just drifted into a sleep and passed into the spirit world there, I do feel though that there must have been something different about her hair, Okay, it's like when she passed, whoever did her hair, there was something different about it because she's giggling and laughing and it's like, that's not the way I did my hair. Okay, but she's laughing at this when she's coming in. I do feel with her she wants to talk of um, the June month, so either her birthday or passing or something very special happened to her, but the June month would have to connect with her in some way. There's a strong faith with this lady as she's coming in here as well, because I just feel that strong faith as she's pushing in here. I also feel there's problems in the stomach area, but I want to say your stomach's not been feeling too right at the minute as well, because she wants to send the healing into your stomach at the moment lovely, lovely uh, lady, and it's really that nice, big, bright smile, you know, that vibrant energy that she wants to pass over to you at this time. She is living around you, okay, definitely, and she's quite mischief, 
quite mischief, sorry. So just watch over the next sort of two to three days where, you know, you could just be sitting there and it's like your TV changes channel or your computer switches itself off. But I just feel this lady's going to be very, very, very mischief. mischief. It's easy for me to say. I don't even have false teeth and she does. <laughs> oh, I'm not even going to try and say it again. Um, but just watch for that. Please take her love. She's piled with it, okay? Take her love. Mwah. Thank you. Ah, it's horrible when you kind of get your words out. Mwah. I love that. Oh, that's right. Thank you very much for the confirmation as well, Michaela. Thank you. Mwah. Hello Lizzie who just joined, welcome, welcome everybody that's just joined in. Um, as you all know I won't be on later on tonight so I thought I would come on this afternoon and do a good few readings for you all. Um, the reason I'm not on tonight is I'm teaching tonight, I've got to teach all my wee students. But I'm going to get my wee students to come and do a live one day for you all. Okay, how would we just like that if I got all my students to come on and try and give you all wee readings? That'd be cool. Um, but at the moment, we are doing uh, spirit messages with me, so make sure you're still commenting away, folks, and I will do my best to get around to you. Ryan Stewart, your name is bouncing out. Let me read your comment. Something from my grand Stella or granddad Jock, please, John. They Are they around me? Right, Ryan, let's have a wee look and see what's going on. Do you know, straight away as I'm connecting into you, I am aware of that a gentleman vibration coming in here, okay? And as this gentleman stepping forward, I, I feel where my breath's been taken away from me. You know, it's like I'm trying to say something, I'm trying to speak, and every now and then it's like... <sighs> so I'm really fighting to get a breath with this gentleman as he's coming in. He would be about five, five, seven, five, eight in height as he's stepping forward here. A nicely built gentleman. You know, he's no saying that he's skinny, but he's no saying that he's big. He does have a bit of a belly on him, he's saying. Um, but a really, really nice uh, vibration from this gentleman. He's quite hard to hear in one of the ears, and I do feel I've got false teeth on the bottom here as he's coming in. I also feel there's a mark on his cheek. Okay, now I don't know if it's a mole or a wee scar, but just around here there's something that would be on his face. Okay, um, He's the type of gentleman that sort of sat back, listened to what was going on, then got his bit forward. Okay, A very hard working gentleman as I'm pulled into his vibration as well. I don't feel he would have sat on his back end. Okay, Although I do, as he was getting older, feel he had to sit down, but he got frustrated with this. Okay? Now now, he does make me aware that he was near the boss in the relationship, so I do feel that there would be um, his partner in the spirit world with him, and it's like, the, it's like he's saying, the boss might try and butt in, okay? So I feel like his wife, uh, which would be Gran, would have been the boss here, okay? He made, he did some cooking. I don't know if he made tablet or, you know, like Scottish tablet, maroon, coconut ice and something like that because I'm just getting this real sweet tooth coming forward from him, okay? Please take the gentleman's love uh, and I'll say thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, there must be something about goldfish or fish because he's shouting fish. He's saying, tell him about the fish. So hopefully you'll understand that as well. Take his love. Thank you very much. Right. Dearie me, you're Spirit friends, folks, are playing havoc with my ears at the moment. Um, I've got a gentleman here. Now, I don't know who this is for. I'm going to throw this out. But I've got a gentleman here, and he keeps licking his finger and sticking it in my ear. Like this. I, don't, I know um, up at this end of the town, we call this a wet willy. And stick it in your ear. Okay. I feel this gentleman would be about 5 foot 9, 5 foot 10 as he's coming in here. I feel his passing was very, very quick. He's not... He passed either walking down the street or, or he was sort of just going out his front door, you know. He just dropped. That's the way I feel with this gentleman as he's coming in. Could anybody understand that? Because he's driving me nuts. I also feel he enjoys singing as well. Okay. Because because he's now starting to sing, and I'm thinking, great, he's sticking his finger in my ear and he's singing at the same time. So if anybody understands that, let me know, because I need to pass on a message from him. But until I wait to see who can understand him, let's carry on. Go away. Let's carry on doing somebody else at the minute. Right. Um, Carly Flynn, I'm going to come to your cell. Is my gran or aunt okay? They are watching over me and my four... Uh, month old daughter. Right, let's have a wee look. Um, I've just lost your message now. Where is it? Gran or aunt? Gran or aunt? Um, right. 
Do you know, as I'm pulling into your vibration here, I'm aware of a lady stepping forward, okay? Now, I don't feel this is a grand that's coming in, so I would go more on an anti-vibration, okay? If not, this lady was like an auntie to you. It's just coming in here, I do feel like her passing. Do you know, I feel a fighter with this lady. I feel whatever was going on, she fought and fought and fought to stay around, to do things, okay? And this isn't just with any illnesses that were going on with her. I feel this was just in life. She really just kept going and pushing and pushing for things, okay? I'm feeling as I'm connecting into this um, lady as well that I'm wanting to talk about the the August month, so the August month must connect with a lady or her birthday or passing or her anniversary. Um, it's just coming in here or something really special. She also mentions the 12th of a month, so the 12th of a month must mean something to you. I'm feeling with this lady as well, she's got this real sort of caring side to her, you know, she would never see anybody go without, she'd never see anybody on her own, she was always looking after these people, um, it's just connecting in here. A lovely vibration she is in and around you at this time, but I feel there's been a lot of sort of downs with you at the minute, okay, lots of downs where you just haven't been able to pick yourself up, and I feel this lady, when she was here, she was the type of person that sort of kicked everybody in tow, she had an amazing way of saying things, you know, she was able to sort of calm a situation by what she said, and that's what she's coming in to do at the minute, you know, she's trying to give you that energy to calm you down, to be able to bring you out of this wee rut you're in to push you forward. Please take her love and I'll say thank you very much for working with me. Right, who could take this blinking gentleman? He's driving me potty. Um, Gillian Petrie, you understand this gentleman. Uh, where is it? Where is it? i just seen it. You had an uncle who just dropped. Was he a bit of a joker and a comedian as well? Was he one of these people that just liked to act a go? A very hard working gentleman. He would also want to connect five into a family with him as well because I just feel that family side with him as I'm pushed in there. I also feel as well with him where, you know, it was very quick. He was either walking down the street or he was just walking out his door, but he just dropped and that's how he passed, okay? He didn't get the chance to say the goodbyes. People didn't get the chance, stop it. People didn't get the chance to say the goodbyes to him as well. A total practical joker. If he could laugh, he would just keep laughing. That's way he got through everything by cracking a joke, cracking a laugh. Everybody got on with this gentleman. Yes, his sense of humour, you had to get it at times, okay? Um, it's a bit like, you know, if you didn't get his sense of humour, you wouldn't have found it funny, okay? But if you didn't laugh at his jokes, by God, he would make a, he'd just make an absolute mockery of you. You know, he'd be slagging you off even more as he's coming in here. Um, I feel this gentleman as he's coming forward, it's like he's wanting to sort of bring that laughter forward to you, okay? I feel things have been very, very serious recently with you, and it's like he's saying you need to lighten up. Okay, <laughs> you need to lighten up as he's coming in here. I do feel he'd be about 5'10", 5'11". He was quite a tall gentleman as he comes in. He's got that dark, short coloured hair as he's stepping forward. Lovely brown eyes as he's pushing in here as well, okay? I do also feel where... There must have been some connection to Spain or something with him. I don't know if he went there on holiday or it was his favourite place or he always wanted to go, but he wants to talk about Spain as I'm connecting into him as well here. Please take the gentleman's love. Know that he is an absolute pain in the neck, even in the spirit world, just like he was here. So I hope you understand that, Gillian. <laughs> take his love. Gee whiz. Right, let's hope he goes away and stops ramming his fingers in my ear. Right, let's do another couple. Um, let's see, where are we going to go? Where are we going to go? Where are we going to go? Keep sharing, folks. Keep your love hearts and your thumbs up coming along. Remember, actually, before I pick someone else, I want to say to you all, remember, once I get to 10,000 likes on my page, I'm going to be giving out over 50 free readings and crystals and things. So make sure you're inviting your friends to like my page and sharing it as much as you can so that, I mean, everybody will be in for a chance. That'll be done through a live. People comment and I'll be selected for private readings, okay? And it is private ones, so it won't be done on live. It'll be one-to-ones, uh, done over phone, email, messenger, that sort of thing. So help me get to that 10,000 mark, okay? And over 50 gifts are going to be giving away. 
How cool is that? Didn't I say I'm no good to you? Mwah. Right, let's have a look. Let's see who else I'm going to. Because my guide's saying, John, shut the feck up and go on to somebody else. <laughs> Honestly, he's got a way for words, my guide. Crazy Indian alcoholic. Have you ever heard of lights? Can you believe I'm sitting on my computer screen, right? Uh, I've got an Apple Mac. And I'm sitting trying to scroll the screen. It's not even a touch screen computer. And I'm trying to roll it up to find who I'm being called. <laughs> Should maybe use the mouse. Ah, dear. I'm off my trolley. Tina Williams. Tina Williams. Um, I'm going to come to yourself. Um, now, you haven't asked for anything. All you said was liked and shared. Oh, let me see. Oh, no, you've just said me, please. Now, I'm going to just pull into your energy. I was drawn into you, but I'm aware of a lady stepping forward here, okay? Now, as this lady's coming into me here, I feel where, you know, I'm wanting to sit down. I'm feeling quite frail with this lady as she's stepping in here. I do feel a grandmother vibration as I'm connecting into her, okay? I do feel, I'm saying to her, sweetheart, tell me what was wrong with you. And she's saying, do you know, son, it was old age and things are just shutting down in my body. Okay, she's really calm about it. So I feel this lady was somebody that was always calm. She never sort of got heated. She took her time. She's, she's saying, son, I never rushed for anybody. I did everything in my own time, at my own pace. Okay, I want to give um, connections up north here, like Aberdeen way to this lady as well. No idea why, but she's calling me up that way. So hopefully you could understand that. Um, I'm feeling a more into, do you know, I get a farm sort of feeling from her. I'm not saying she lived on a farm, but I feel there must be farming connections and the family with her, okay, because she's acknowledging that. I do feel when it came to her passing, it would have been very, very peaceful and she wants to connect the April time with her as well. So either her birthday or passing or something very special happened to her. But the April month has to connect with her in some way here. And I am struggling with my, my feet with this lady as well. So I do feel she struggled with her feet a wee bit. She, it's like she's struggling with her mobility okay, at the same time. And it's something that kind of frustrated her because she was somebody that liked to do things for herself. And I feel she's like, I can't do it myself. Okay, She's talking of a fall that must have been just before her passing because she's making me aware of a fall just before her passing here as well, um, which caused her. There's, do you know, I feel she's wanting to come in. You've got decisions you need to make at this minute in time, okay? There's big decisions coming in, coming forward to you. And it's like she's coming in to bring her settled, calm feeling. Because when she had decisions to make, she sat, she thought it through, but she always went with what was in her heart. And I feel you're somebody that when decisions come in, your heart's saying one thing, your head's saying another, and you start arguing with yourself inside. And she's saying, sit back. Go with what's in there, make the decision, don't change it, and push forward, okay? Please take the lady's love, and I'll say thank you very much. Mwah. Thank you. Oh, do you know what? It is an absolute pleasure being here on Facebook Live, getting to connect in with all your loved ones, you know? See, people always say to me, John, do they love me? Are they sending... If you could feel what I feel sometimes when I'm connecting into your loved ones, you know, that buzzing vibration, it's amazing. So yes, the question to Aubrey's answer when they ask that is, of course, they're sending their love to you, you know, they walk with you. Yeah, they go on holiday, they're not, they, they don't sort of stand around when you're in the shower, they've got better things to look at. I always get that question. Um, John, is my gran watching me in the shower? And I think, I'm sure your gran's got better things to do. You know, she can sort of go anywhere. Um, she really doesn't want to be standing in your bathroom watching you in the shower. However, in saying that, a couple of years ago, <laughs> I'm just saying this because I'm just giving my mind a wee rest. I will get back to your readings in a minute. A couple of years ago, I was in the shower, and I'm sure I just said this to somebody, you know, you know, they've got no interest in you in the bath or in the shower, you naked, or when you're in bed with your partner, they didn't even want to watch that. Um, but I was in the shower, and it was Easter, and I was getting ready, you know, having my wee shower, doing my thing, and my partner, my wife's granny came in, now she, she was passed, and she said to me, oh, happy Easter, son, and walked out the door, and I was like, what, what the... The language that came at my mouth was not very spiritual, that's for sure. Um, so, yeah, they do. Sometimes they could come in the shower, but the majority of the time they've got better things to do with themselves. Okay, I know when I go to the spirit world, I'll not be watching any of you having a shower. I'll be away getting, I'm, I was going to say a suntan, but I'm not here, body. I'll be away enjoying myself anyway, doing something. All right, better things to do than watch you having a poo. 
Right, let's crack on. Let's do another couple of messages. Better check the time in. Oh no, I've got about 10, 15 minutes before Facebook tell me you can't do any longer because we only get so long. How bad is that? It should be unlimited. But then I'd probably sit here all day because I'm a pain in the butt like that. Right, let's see, let's see, let's see. Michelle Heenan. Michelle Heenan. I'm going to come to yourself. I've just lost your message. Um, my auntie, please. Is she okay? Of course your auntie's okay. Everybody's okay when they go to the spirit world. Um, but as I'm pulling into your vibration there, um, I'm very much aware of a lady coming forward, okay? And as this lady's coming into me, I do feel, you know, I feel this lady was taken well before her time as she's coming in here. I, oh dear, she's got heartburn as she comes in. But I also feel either yourself or somebody close to you is also suffering from heartburn as she's coming forward here. This lady, I feel she wants to connect with the, I want to bring the March month forward. So either her birthday or passing or something very special happened to her. But the March month has to connect in some way with this lady. I'm also feeling as well she wants to talk of four. So there's four people she would want to connect to. Either she was part of four in a family or four is something. But four has to connect in some way with this lady here. She's got that determination, a bit like the last last person I had, you know, she's got the determination to push forward um, and sort of do what she wanted to do. She was also somebody that, you know, she was a bit like the centre pole in the family here. Everybody came to her with her troubles. Everybody came to her with needing help and guidance. And I feel since her passing, you know, I want to say you've kind of took on that role a wee bit. Everybody comes in and sort of tells you what's going on round about them, but you never tell anybody what's going on round about you here, okay? So I feel this lady's coming in to say you're needing to open up and she's here to listen to what you're wanting to get off your mind. She also makes me aware of where sleeping was a bit difficult for her. You know, I feel she's up and down every couple of hours here. But again, I feel symbolically she wants to bring that to yourself. And it's like you're getting strange dreams at the moment. Do you know what? It's a bit like, it's a bit like you're getting snippets of different bits and you're waking up going, what the heck was all that about? Okay. She said to me, write that down, what you remember, and once you've filled an A4 sheet of paper, read it back and there'll be a wee message from her in there. But to answer to your question, yes, she is okay. She is making me aware that everything is working again also. She also makes me aware that the wrong colour of lipstick went on her. Okay, now I don't know if someone put lipstick on, but it was like the wrong shade. I don't feel she wore a lot of makeup. You know, it was maybe just a little bit of lippy every now and then, but it's like the shade's different as she's connecting in here. Please take the ladies' love, and I'll say thank you very much. Bye-bye. Right, folks. Right, folks. Are we having fun? You're having fun? I see your love hearts and your thumbs have stopped scrolling. Tut, tut, tut. Oh, I'll let you off. They're starting to scroll back on again. I'll let you get off. Right, folks, please do keep sharing, okay? Let's written down the bottom. Please share, okay? That is the important thing here. I do these because you keep sharing it. You know, once the shares sort of stop, that's when I'll go, okay, maybe I shouldn't be doing Facebook Lives anymore. So <laughs> please make sure you're keeping the, the shares going, inviting everybody. Share on to groups. You know, a lot of you are part of sort of groups that do readings, spiritual groups, um, Share this video within them. Um, definitely. Share it everywhere. Okay, but remember my big, big giveaway that's coming up. Over 50 prizes. I'll be giving away 50 odd readings um, and other gifts. Make sure you're part of that once I reach 10,000 page likes. Okay, so it is important to share more than ever. I'm going to do another one. Let me see who I'm going to go to. Uh, Sarah McCowan. I'm going to come to yourself, Sarah McCowan. Um, see what's going on. Love our nights out, though, babe. Wouldn't have you any other way. Oh, I've got no idea what you're saying. I was drawn into your name, but I don't know what you're asking. <laughs> have we had a night out? <laughs> I don't think so. I don't even think I know you. But thank you for coming here. I'm going to connect into your energy. Uh, 
Sarah, and I'm very aware of a, a lady coming forward here. Now, I don't know who you're asking for, because all I could say is that you love our love our nights out, though, babe. Wouldn't have it any other way. But I'm aware of a lady stepping forward here, and as this lady's coming in here, do you know, I I feel very, very motherly with this lady as she's coming in, okay? I feel when it came to the end and it came at her passing, it was very, very quick, because I want to snap my fingers here. I'm feeling where I'm struggling to get a breath also because I'm really fighting to get that breath coming into my lungs here and it's like it's just been taken away from me, okay? I do feel that I'm in hospital conditions with this lady as well because I'm very aware of that, that hospital smell vibration coming into me, okay? I do feel that, you know, people would have been around the bedside here and I'm very aware of that around me and I could feel people talking and speaking and I'm wanting to say I heard everything as she's coming in here, okay? She's saying I heard the whole lot. All right, she wants to connect here with the, the July month, so it's either her birthday or passing or something really special happened to her, but July wants to connect with her as well here, okay? This woman has a smile, I'm no joking, it's from like top to top, all the way around, really big smile. I feel she would have brightened up her room by just walking into it. She didn't have to say anything, she didn't have to say anything, she just brightened up that room there, okay? I feel as I'm pulling into her as well, she wants to talk of a celebration, so there's either a birthday just coming up or just been, but she wants to wish a, a happy birthday to somebody there as well. She lets me know, she wants to say to me that she's in and around you and she's watching everything you're doing, okay? Everything you're doing. She also makes me aware that the decisions are being made and you are making the right ones. She also makes me aware that you send up a lot of thoughts to her, okay, and that she is picking those up and she is listening and trying to do her best to come forward there. Now, you must have been sitting, uh, now, if this hasn't happened, watch out for it in the next two to three days, but if it has, something where you've been sitting recently and you've went, oh, that... That felt funny, you know, it's like mum's come in and you've went, oh, oh, started to go a shivery wivery, okay, that is this lady stepping forward, she's pushing in right at your side at this moment and giving you that upliftment that you need. Please take the lady's love, she is sending lots and lots of it forward and I'll say thank you very much, Mwah. thank you. Hello everybody, hello everybody that's just joined in, welcome, welcome, um, make... Folks, actually, you know what? I was going away. I need to tell you something. I get messages all day. All day. I get private messages. I get emails from people that watch my lives. Uh, all saying, John, I'm not getting a notification when you're going live. <laughs> I have put a post on my wall. So if you're not getting a notification, there is a post on my wall. If you head over and just sort of read it, it'll tell you how to get a notification every time I come live, okay? And as you all know, every time I go live, I do readings, all right? So you'll not get pestered by me just coming on and go, hiya, goodbye. <laughs> I always do uh, readings when I come on, so make sure you see that post. And uh, it's really simple. You just got to click on wee button somewhere and push it and say, get notified. That's simple. Um, or in the video, I'm sure somewhere there's a wee button that, says follow or subscribe somewhere around here i don't know or around here no idea anyway um that's how you do it all right <laughs> but see the post on my wall and that'll help you as to understand how to get the notifications but i am about to be cut off by facebook i'm just checking yes i am i'm about to be cut off by facebook i only get so long to do lives um so i am going to have to start saying my goodbyes to you all but i will try my best to come back on later on tonight i can't promise because i have got my students in tonight okay i'm doing teaching tonight but i will try my best to get on tonight if not normal service will resume tomorrow so i'll have my morning afternoon live session then i'll have the full blown nighttime session where i'm here for about an hour and a half doing constant back-to-back -back messages for you all okay i'm going to go log into my text service okay so if you're wanting a wee text to read in here it is here just text the word sprat and your question and send it to 85358 it'll cost you one pound per reply and you can get a maximum of three okay or you could call how cool is that all the numbers are down there, the 0800 number is free if you're in the UK from a mobile or a landline or the 02 number if you're not in the UK, so that's if you're calling from anywhere. Make sure you add 44 in front of it and that'll get you through. If you've had a reading, folks, make sure you post a visitor's comment on my wall. Tell me if you liked it. If you didn't like it, honestly, I don't delete them. 
All right. Um, I think it's just fair to be honest. And sometimes a medium can get it wrong. And I don't claim to be perfect. Okay. So please, if you did, comment on my wall. Make sure you come back. Um, keep sharing. Keep loving and liking. Keep commenting on any posts that I put up as well. Or share your pictures with me. Or if I share them with you, comment and post on them. Help me get verified. And... That'll be even better because I've got longer. Once I get the page verified, I get longer to do my lives, which mean even more readings. So it's in your benefit. Okay. Until then, folks, it has been an absolute pleasure. I am now off to my tech service to do your readings. Oh, also on my website, johnspratt.co.uk, click on offers. These are for private readings with me. Okay. If you want some of them, they're on special offer at the minute. So have a wee look book them. Um, the offers change every other day, so if it's maybe at £5 today, tomorrow it might be at £10. If a reading's at £30, to, you know, it might go back up to 40 So grab them while they can. They change every couple of days. And um, that's johnspratt.co.uk. Click on the offers. That's private readings with me. I'm going in at my text service. I'm looking forward to seeing all your text messages and being able to connect into your vibration, giving that validation, the insight and the guidance that you need. Until then, folks, take care. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye-bye.